All right, guys, I was asked about number five on our homework today. So number five asks us negative 23 degrees Celsius is equal to what Fahrenheit? Oops, degrees is over here. What Fahrenheit? So we once again use that formula. F is equal to 9 fifths C plus 32. And then we'll just plug in our numbers. So F is equal to 9 fifths C plus, oops, sorry, negative 23 plus 32. And I'm going to put this in parentheses because parentheses means multiply. So now we just have to do a little bit of work here. 9 times negative 23. Just like any other multiplication, we just got to make sure we add the negative at the end since one of our numbers is negative. 3 times 9 is 27. 2 Two nines are 18, two more is 20, and make that negative. So now I have an answer here. F is equal to negative 207 over 5 plus 32. Well, we see we have two fractions here. When we have fractions, we have to have the same denominator. This isn't a fraction yet, but I'll make it a fraction now. So we see we have different denominators. We have to make them the same. Do you remember what that rule is? If this is 5, this is 1, the common denominator would be 5. So we multiply by 5, and we have to do the same thing to the top. Let me quickly work that out. 2 times 5, 32 times 5 will be 2 times 5 is 10. Carry the 1, 3 fives are 15, plus 1 is 16. And then we put that over 5. So now instead of having this, I have this number. So once again, we'll write that down. That didn't change. There it is. F equals negative 207 over 5 plus 160 over 5 now. And now it's just a matter of solving the problem. Now you'll notice we have a negative, but it's nothing to get freaked out about. Here's a simple rule with negatives. You can flip-flop the numbers and put this one first, I'm sorry, this one first, and that one second, and just add the sign at the end. So we're going to put negative 207, I'm sorry, just 207, minus 160. And then I'll make sure the answer at the end is negative. So 7 minus 0, 7. This becomes a 10, this will become a 1. 10 minus 6 is 4, and we have 47, and we have to make that negative. So our final answer, kind of our final answer, is negative 47, because that's what we got over here, over 5. Now we need to put that into something that makes a little more sense to us. So we're going to divide. And don't worry, that negative, you just add it in at the end. Add in a couple decimals to make our answer a little more precise. 5 goes into 47 nine times. 9 times 5 is 45. You'll have 2 left over. Drop your 0. Add my decimal up there. 4 times 5 is 20, and now it works out. And we just remember that since we had negative 47 in here, we have to add it to the end. So our final answer, negative 9.4 degrees Fahrenheit.